Welcome back hackers. In today's video, we'll compare Offensive Security Certified Professional with TCM Security Practical Network Penetration Tester. We will outline difficulty level, exam structure, career opportunities, salaries, and recognition of each certification, thus helping you determine which one is the right start. Let's get started. Okay, let's start first with the difficulty level. The OSCP is widely regarded as one of the most challenging penetration testing certifications. It requires candidates to exploit multiple machines in a simulated environment and submit a comprehensive report within 24 hours. The exam emphasizes hands-on skills, requiring a deep understanding of exploitation techniques, enumeration, and privilege escalation. While the course materials are comprehensive, the certification demands rigorous preparation and often self-learning beyond the syllabus. Many candidates report studying for three to six months, depending on their prior experience. On the other hand, the PNPT certification is tailored for individuals aiming to specialize in network penetration testing for both internal and external departments. It emphasizes industry standards and imparts advanced knowledge in web application security and open source intelligence. PNPT is considered less technically intensive than OSCP, focusing more on a complete penetration testing workflow, including reconnaissance, post-exploitation, and effective communication of findings. Preparation for the PNPT typically takes two to four months for individuals with some networking and penetration testing experience. So by now, it's safe to say that OSCP is generally considered more technically demanding than PNPT. However, PNPT places a stronger emphasis on practical application and real-world attack scenarios. Now let's talk about the exam structure of OSCP. OSCP's exam is 24 hours, followed by 24 hours to submit the report, so the total is 48 hours. The exam involves compromising a set number of machines in a controlled environment. Points are allocated based on the difficulty of the machines and the tasks completed. You need 70 out of 100 points to pass the exam. The exam heavily emphasis on technical skills, including manual exploitation and privilege escalation. On the other hand, the PNPT exam is five days followed by two days to submit the report, which makes the total exam period seven days. The exam requires candidates to simulate an end-to-end -end penetration test, including reconnaissance, exploitation, lateral movement, and presenting results. Remember that the passing criteria of PNPT exam is less strict than OSCP. The passing criteria is 35.44%, the PNPT exam combines technical penetration testing skills with business-oriented tasks, such as writing a professional report for a simulated client. So here we go again, you see, PNPT offers a longer exam window, giving candidates more flexibility to simulate real-world workflows, whereas OSCP's condensed format tests the candidate endurance under pressure, which makes it more pressuring and difficult than PNPT. All right, now let's talk about the career opportunities. OSCP is a gold standard in the industry and is highly valued by employers for penetration testing, red teaming, and offensive security roles. The certification's technical rigor has made it a sought-after credential for jobs requiring advanced exploitation skills, such as penetration tester or red team member. On the other hand, PNPT is gaining traction due to its emphasis on practical, real-world skills, appealing to organizations looking for consultants with client-oriented expertise. While not as universally recognized as OSCP, PNPT is respected for validating comprehensive penetration testing workflows. You may see some job openings hiring a penetration tester or security consultant and requiring the candidate to posit PNPT. So again, we are back to comparing. It's safe to say that OSCP has wider and broader recognition, but PNPT's focus on practical skills may position it as a competitive alternative, especially in consulting environments where deep technical expertise may not be required. Now to the good part, according to ZipRecruiter, holders of OSCP salary can expect an average of $90,000 to $130,000 annually, depending on location, experience, and additional certifications. OSCP often leads to higher paying roles, especially in red teaming and advanced penetration testing. PMPT certifications demonstrate a strong foundation, especially for roles requiring client-facing skills, which can positively influence salary growth. PMPT holders can expect a salary ranging from $80,000 to $120,000 annually, according to Indeed.com. 
So as you can see, OSCP holders tend to command slightly higher salaries due to the certification's prestige, but PNPT salaries are competitive and growing as its recognition increases. So finally, you may be wondering which one of these certifications should you pursue? Well, if you are new in the penetration testing field and want a solid credentials with practical experience, then PNPT is ideal for beginners aiming to start a career in network vulnerability assessment through penetration testing. However, if you have prior experience or another certification such as Pentest Plus, then you can pursue OSCP to establish yourself as a technical expert in penetration testing and offensive security. Its recognition and prestige make it ideal for those aiming for advanced roles. So that was it. Let me know what you think in the comments.